Patil, my good friend and colleague, Mr. Rajkumar, who is the chairman of the National Executive Committee, Mr. Jayakumar, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to be here to be, to be, to be with you today and to share a few thoughts on this occasion. The older generation, like many of us sitting here, may not understand all the nuances that are in the cyber world. But we do get drawn into this, not only as administrators, but as individuals who use the internet for various purposes. Now, there are very innocent uses. You may like to know a little more about something. You may want to learn something. You may want to just browse. And I think most of us here are, belong to that category. You know. Because we would like to keep up with the vast amount of knowledge that is being thrown up. And there are those who do not know the dangers of internet. They just go in there like innocent lambs and get punished. But then, it's the age-old game of thieves and robbers which all children are you know fascinated by like my friend rajkumar said there are so many there who would like to who would like to commit crimes there are also many who are victims who are innocent i'm sure that many of you who are interested in the field have already read up quite a bit but for a layman, it is still a little daunting you know, when you want to use the internet for various you know, purposes, legitimate purposes. Like you want to you know, do some banking. Let me tell you, a lot of old people also use banking and services like that. A lot of retail sales purchases are made now, online purchases. You put, the, you put your credit card in the open and you do trust that the system has some amount of safe, safeguards so that you know you are not duped. And that's exactly what the cyber safety standards are being set up for. I had the good pleasure of addressing a very similar gathering in Chennai last year. Last year, last year, and they did make a lot of progress after that summit because the experiences from you know various people that's what helped them make up the standards to ensure that there is some semblance of uh, what do you say safety in a world which is so uncertain, where you don't know whom you are dealing with, from which part of the country, which part of the world he is from. And it is that which is very difficult for people to, you know, legislate upon. And here is an organization, the National Cyber Society, which wants to help the government, the law enforcers, to adopt standards and legal provisions that can nab these people who are out there trying to manipulate us. As I said, there are innocent people, there are people who want to use the internet for such nefarious activities, to make money, to put down somebody, to defame somebody, and then, you know, to generally get a thrill out of cheating somebody, I suppose. 
so one has to be extremely cautious when one is dealing with such people of course we are all very you know very averse to risk most of us who are you know government servants or there's normal standard upper middle class or lower middle class or middle class whatever you call it we are averse to taking risks but sometimes you just think everybody is doing it why not do it and then in the process you know you get really uh, cheated so this kind of work the updating updating of the standards is something that has to go on as technology develops as software develops as more and more players come into this field then you get a lot of knowledge you get you, you learn as to what kind of crimes are being committed out there in the cyber world how they can be prevented then you start thinking of how to prevent them and i'm sure that this summit will be a will be very useful in advancing this kind of knowledge in setting standards and in trying to protect those who wish to use the internet